Hello everybody, this is Dominique, aka D Knows Sense. I knows these things. When you see me smell me, when you smell me, not too close. That's weird. I come to you today to present a fragrance from the house of Parfum Wale. We have Perseus. Isn't he lovely? Or she, him, they, there. Anyway, but uh not to be confused with Altair. Close in color. This is more of a caramel, leathery kind of color. This is more like a yellowish orange sunrise, very zesty, bright kind of color. Um, when they make the colors, uh, I feel like the scent and the color kind of matches the bottle, if it's what it would smell like. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get to the note breakdown, to the fold. We have grapefruit from Mexico, vetiver from Hades, uh, ambergris, bergamot, geranium, a dry wood. Uh, kind of combination and black currant. Um, now I've had this for quite some time. Now, if you go back to my old videos, picture quality is not that great because I'm using a cell phone. I refuse to use my camera for this, but I've had this in the background for over two years now, and uh, that was the original kind of what Perseus was starting over. And they've changed it, tweaked it, and I think they made it a little bit better than what I had initially. And what I had initially, I, I loved it. It, it gave me a full day in, in Vegas. So I was excited to see that they made this a little bit stronger, higher oil concentration. So I'm very excited to uh, for this new release of Parfums de Marley. Um, I guess I got to start off saying this, or I should have said this earlier. I do work for Parfums de Marley. I'm an account executive. I teach classes for Parfums de Marley and Fragrance. So, and do trainings. So I don't want to be too technical, too nerdy, and I'm fair and I'm biased. Uh, I'm going to be fair in the fact of my honest assessment of the fragrance, but I also am biased because I've seen this fragrance grow and uh, watch it mature. But anyway, uh, this fragrance came out uh, when we smelled it two years ago. The people at Neiman's when Julian came in town. They're like, release this now. This is going to be the next thing. And he was like, ah, I'll do it in two years. He was like, you know, I have some things I want to release before then. And that's what he did. He took his time. I believe the growth, apart from the Marley have seen with hits like Velaya and Altair, has come since then. Um, Halton was before those. And now we have Perseus. Um, what I get from it, it is a blast of grapefruit in the opening. Um, now, I've seen this go a few different ways. On some people's skin, it's super, super grapefruit, and then it calms down into a nice, beautiful scent like 30 minutes or an hour later. On my skin, I get that blast of grapefruit, and then I go to, right to the base of the fragrance where I get the ambergris, the woods, a little bit of tonka bean spice. So it goes a little bit more warm central on me. And on other people, it's like brighter, zestier. When I smelled it on Yvonne, uh, the president of Parfum de Marley of North and South America, it was very bright, zesty, I think a perfect blend on him. So I like both styles of the fragrance. Perseus is for the person that's looking for a spring or a summer fragrance. That it's a fragrance for a person that is, um, how can I say, if you're a niche collector and you don't want to smell designerish, Perseus is perfect for you. It is 92% natural, so that's one thing they pride itself is using the best ingredients, but as natural as possible, uh, especially over the listed notes. Um, the thing I love about it on my skin, I have to scrub it off of my body. It stays on probably longer than what I desire. At the 12-hour mark, I'm like, okay, this is still very present on my skin. On some people, it's a little bit lighter. Your pH makes a difference. Um, trying to think what else good good to know stuff that you need to know about this i think it is a great i personally will say blind buy it i'm irresponsible i have over a hundred thousand fragrance hundred thousand dollars worth of fragrances here so i'm a blind buyer but people are not like me they're wiser they're more mature we have to consider resources so i personally say go get a sample Try it out. It's going to be a Nordstrom's exclusive from March 6th to February 6th, February 26th. I mean, March 6th to March 26th. So you can go to Nordstrom's, check it out, smell it, see if you like it. I think it's a beautiful fragrance. I think it's fun. I think it's sexy. It has a sexiness to it. Um, gotten compliments with it. 
Is it beast mode and projection performance? No, it's not. It's a citrus fragrance. Citrus doesn't project out super loud or anything like that. Um, I wish they would have added fixatives in it. I always push towards that, but the company prefers to be more natural than synthetic. So what can you say? Um, so yes, but uh, it does have geranium in it. So geranium naturally projects out two to three feet. So that's what you're going to get. You're going to get roughly a nice two to three foot projection. And it's going to be like that most of the day. Um, it's going to be a little bit stronger in the first couple hours. I want to say around the fourth to sixth hour, it's going to kind of pull back and be kind of hover around you. But it's like that on me, literally, until I have to take a shower and I'm ready to go to bed. So um, please do yourself the favor. Go check out Perseus. I think it's a hit. I think it's going to be one of the next big fragrances in the line. I don't know how they're doing it, but uh, we keep knocking out bangers. I hope you enjoy it. So until next time, peace up. A-Town down. D-Town sideways. Peace. Woo!